if Tesla wants to revolutionize how we drive, zero motorcycles wants to take your love of the road to the next level. No noise, no vibrations, but all the power and torque of the best bikes out there. It's electric, and it's the next great American brand, completely made in the United States. Joining me now is Zero Motorcycle CEO Sam Paschal. Tell me about the bike, Sam, because I'm a Harley fan. That's a regular old-fashioned internal combustion engine. It is. This, not anything like that. It, it is. This is. A, it's. It's the most innovative motorcycle in the world. Uh, if you're familiar with a Harley, something like a Harley Sportster 1200 will have about 73 foot-pounds of torque. That's basically how much force is being applied to that back tire to really give you the acceleration. Uh, Zero Motorcycle, the, the bike right in front of us has about 116 foot-pounds of torque. So you're getting the acceleration and performance out of like a modern-day superbike um, out of one of these electric motorcycles. Are you going after the same audience that Harley-Davidson goes after? What's your, your key demographic? The key demographics, we have three basic types of riders that make up the majority of who we reach out to. First, we have um, riders that tend to have more than one motorcycle in the garage. You know, the electric motorcycle phenomenon, electric vehicles overall, are still pretty new. In 2011, there were about 2,000 plug-in vehicles sold in the United States right. overall, four wheels, two wheels, everything else. Uh, flash forward to last year, and there were about 160,000 plug-in vehicles sold in the United States and about 780,000 globally. So this phenomenon is catching on. Um, but within the motorcycle community, it's still relatively new. So the three types of riders we generally get are riders who have a quiver of bikes that have more than one motorcycle right. in the garage. We get new riders, people that don't have that established connection with any one brand and throw a leg over a zero and just fall in love with it. And three, and actually probably the most common, we have riders who loved motorcycle riding at one point in their life and then for one reason or another uh, had a family, had kids, moved away from it, and now it's the lure of electric and the differentiated ride that's really drawing them back. I've been on a Harley or eight in my days, and th these bikes, though, don't have the roar and the rumble of a Harley no. that Harley riders and devotees really crave. It's true. It's true. Um, if you think about riding a motorcycle and you've been on one, it's, a, it's an experience that uses all five senses. Three of those senses on an electric motorcycle are going to be completely different than they are on a gas bike. First, as you mentioned, is the, sen is the um, audio, the sound. You're not going to have that same rumble. You're not going to have that same sense of sound. You're going to hear your surroundings a lot better. Uh, you're going to hear what's going on around you, but you're not going to have that roar. Number two, the smell and the fumes of a gas bike aren't really going to be there. Which is my cologne. Which is your cologne. <laughs> it's not mine today. Just, it's not I'm mine today. Kidding. It's the reason I'm, I'm stepping kidding. a little further away. Um, but, but third, and I think most important, is all the, vi all the vibration that you tend to feel um, with a gas bike, you don't feel with an electric motorcycle. So the only thing you're really feeling is your connection to the road Fair and enough. the ride. For me, um, these are made made in the United States, made in America, just like the Harley. So, is that are. a selling point too? It's a huge point for our consumers. The bikes have been engineered from the ground up, designed, and are all built um, in the Bay Area um, in Northern California. How, what are your sales like year over year? How much are they growing? You know, we're growing at about a 35 percent compound annual growth rate. It's similar to what's happening in the EV space. Two dynamics at play. One is a motorcycle market that tends to be a bit flat. The second is an EV market that's growing rapidly. Luckily for us, we're tending to follow the curve of the EV market. What about other products that you might be looking at outside of motorcycles? So we have, yeah. we have three basic business segments. The first is the commercial motorcycles, which are for sale to consumers. And in I interviewed the stores. founder of the company years ago when the, the, the first bikes were yep. rolling out. Yep. Um, Neil was fantastic. He was a, a NASA-funded engineer at one point and a, and a mountain bike and a motorcycle enthusiast. Right. Um, the second segment for us is fleet and military. It's a great application for local police forces. And third is this powertrain business, where there are companies that realize they're a little bit behind the curve on electrification. We've got millions of miles underneath the bikes. We've got 11 years of experience, and they're coming to us to help them electrify the products that they've already created. Sam, good to see you. Please come back. I Thank wish so I would. I would get on one, but I'm, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not wearing my motorcycle pants today. Sam Pachel, we, thank you so much. Thank you so much. You can come out to California, and we'll get you to throw a leg over a bike. Yeah, I, on a day like today, it's a little chilly. I'll yeah. take even Northern California, the coldest place on the planet, <laughs> in the middle of July. Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you. Really very good much. to see you.